Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about one of the most exciting races in the cycling calendar, the Giro d'Italia. But uh, before we start talking about that, we're going to go through uh, the jersey that we've designed, that is inspired by Italy, made by ASOS and it's limited edition. Then we're going to go over the initial stages, races of the Giro and after that we're going to go through uh, the favorites for the overall victory in our opinion, so let's go! So like we said, we've designed the jersey that is made by ASOS, so the Aero RS line jersey uh, it's limited edition and so it's only 100 pieces made it's going to be revealed in a couple of days we love it we just saw it a couple of days ago and it's like in person and it's to me it's one of the best jerseys that we have so yeah uh, if you want that jersey like we said only 100 pieces made just uh, follow us on instagram or get into our email list or follow us here but probably on instagram you will find it uh, the the soonest so uh, yeah just follow us and you guys will be in the know um, i think we'll be yeah, on our website it will be in probably less than a week so the course has like a really small amount of time trial kilometers and even on the time trials there are hills in it so this year's Giro the course the design is kind of different to the previous years and definitely it suits uh, climbers more than the guys that have a uh, time trial uh, ability as well yeah, we, we will see who wins, but it's for sure it will be unpredictable to, to the last couple of days or even the last day. We usually check the route and also all of the details from the previous day, so the, the races on Steep Hill and on Giro d'Italia's official website, they're really, really good. You can check those there. All of the pictures that you're seeing now are from Steep Hill. I really like that page, I've been on it for a lot of years now, so shout out to Steep Hill, keep up doing the great job that you do. The Giro starts in uh, Hungary, so first three stages are in Hungary and then it's one day rest day and then the first mountain top finish comes to climb Etna. That climb it looks really horrible on, uh, on the profile but uh, as I recall uh, on this side of Etna it's, it's usually pretty windy and uh, it's not as steep so I believe that there won't be any any big differences in the general GC so with the with the favorites maybe some will lose probably 10 15 maybe 30 seconds but uh, I don't think uh, any of them will lose more than a minute but we will get like a general idea who's feeling good who's not um, so yeah but on the next couple of stages um, they're more like a sprinter stages or maybe breakaway stages but then on uh, stage 7 it is possible for somebody who's feeling good or maybe one of the favorites lost some time on Etna if he's feeling good maybe he can go crazy or more of them but uh, also stage 7 even if it looks pretty dangerous um, on the profile it's it's possible for the for the breakaway to to get away but we will see it's only the start so maybe the favorites are still still having fresh legs so they can go for it and we if that happens then we can expect like a crazy giro like we always do yeah we, we we will see what that what happens but yeah stage seven is one of the stages that will be fun to watch stage nine is probably the first one that the favorites will show their hands so we will see who's really strong or ex or at least have something to to go by so we will know which of the favorites um, have a possibility to win. The Giro is still long, but I think on stage 9 we will see who's really strong and who isn't. We can see who the top dogs are for, for this Giro, who the top cyclists are, so 
yeah, uh, stage nine is one to put in the, the calendar. So from stage nine, you have a lot of stages that are more for sprinters, maybe for some breakaways until stage 14. And from that point on, yeah, it's, it's going to be pretty crazy because every stage is hard. The last 10 days of the Giro are, yeah, they're completely crazy so I hope we, we will see some drama falling out in the in the Giro I hope all the guys will be safe some drama doesn't hurt right <laughs> uh, the rosters for the teams still haven't been announced yet but from uh, what we've been reading in the news I think the the main favorite for the overall win victories are probably two or three but the main favorite for us it's Richard Carapaz so he's been really consistent and he doesn't crack under pressure so I think he's the guy to beat. The second one is Simon Yates uh, he's been feeling really good in a couple of the stages that he went this year or at least in uh, in the past couple of weeks and yeah I think he wants to forget that loss Chris Froome gave him and yeah so I think uh, he's the one uh, he's the one that's a close second to, to Richard Carapaz for the overall victory and then the third my guess is uh, Mikel Landa um, I hope he doesn't make any uh, he doesn't have like a really bad day in the beginning or like gets into one of the crashes or something like that because he's probably the one um, yeah, who, who I would consider to be one of the um, top riders for this overall victory. So then the fourth one is my favorite probably for, for the win but or my heart's favorite. So Alejandro Valverde, he achieved almost everything in his career. So if he manages to pull this off or get another podium, I think that would be super sweet for him. So I'm pulling for, for Alejandro for the overall. Then we have Tom Dumoulin after last year hiatus and then going to the Olympics and uh, winning one of the medals. Uh, this year he hasn't raced uh, uh, a lot, so we will see how that goes. But uh, I think he's still in the uh, main group of favorites with uh, his um, fellow uh, in the team Foss. So we will see how, how that team uh, goes. And then the sixth rider is Joao Almeida. Like I remember last year, he, he was feeling really good in the last week, he made some uh, attacks, so I hope this year will be the same. Uh, and especially because I think the route uh, fits all of this, these riders, maybe Dumoulin the least, but uh, all of the others are pretty strong climbers, so we will see how, how everything pans out. But uh, though those are our favorites, if you have uh, if we missed your favorite, please let us know. So, uh, That's pretty much it from our side. If you want the jersey, go to approvedcycling.com, follow us on Instagram and here on YouTube. Get into our email list because probably some bonuses, stuff like that, maybe will be given out or maybe just some free stuff again. So yeah, uh, enjoy guys and start. I, I hope you got your popcorn ready from that stage 14 and onwards because I think the Giro this year is going to be so unpredictable and pretty crazy. So enjoy your bike rides and yeah, talk to you guys soon. Cheers!